Hey, what's going on, everybody? Today we are looking at the Pioneer. I'm, I, you know, honestly, I am not sure if I did this video a while back, um, but this is an update to this. I was listening to these these today. I wanted to pull them out, see how they sounded on the tube amp and and on the uh, IDSD signature. And uh, I had these a long time ago, and I used these on you know a really crappy old phone. And I wasn't impressed with the sound at the time. I thought they sounded good, but there were other ones that had like bass and I didn't appreciate the sound of this. And this one actually is really good in the sound signature. They sound incredible. Uh, looking at these, they're very comfortable. Look at these pads, they're angled pads and they're very cushiony. Now these things have lasted, I've had this for over three years and these things look, still look new some nice padding in the headband uh the headband feels solid under that i'm not sure if it's a piece of metal or not but obviously looking at these it's a minimalist design yet this colorway is very elegant uh, as you can see it looks very elegant uh get into some of the specs there obviously this is a closed back dynamic driver uh, it is a 40 millimeter driver. It doesn't specify anything specific, so I'm assuming, assuming it's you know mylar or some type of uh, plastic driver. The sensitivity of this is 96 decibels. Uh, that's at 32 ohms, and the frequency response is 9 to 40 kilohertz. Claiming that you know people can't hear 9 to 40. Uh, Usually it's 20 to 20 because that's basically the range of somebody with, you know, good hearing. As you get older, that diminishes. The maximum input power of these is 1,000 milliwatts. So one watt. Uh, that's pretty good. And it says that these were designed for high-res audio files such as DSD, MQA, and FLAC. Um, you know, take that with a grain of salt. It's got the little high-res sticker in there. Uh, now, these come in a variety of colors. They come in all black. They come in um, all black with red caps. They come in uh, all black with silver caps. And they also come in... Is that it? I think that's basically it. Uh, so there's, there's four different colors. Now, this part feels like it's metal. And this is plastic. I know it looks like aluminum, but that part is plastic. This is a metal wire going into there. Uh, the padding is very nice and plush. These pads actually remove if you would ever need to replace them, although it would ruin the look because they look fantastic unless you could find something that color. The cable has a remote. It's only a one button remote. It is designed to work with both iOS and Android. It's rubberized and it is a fixed cable, as you can see here, but these are you know, $44, $50. I can forgive that for these. Now, getting into the sound signature of these, um, very well done. It is a balanced, neutral type signature. That means nothing is emphasized. I know I've seen in some of the reviews, a couple of people thought these were lifeless and flat. They're not flat. The bass is there. If you're listening to a bass boosted track, rap, hip hop, something like that, YouTube videos, uh, Pandora, anything that's like bass boosted, the bass comes through. Uh, it has some very good sub bass. It, it, it does a decent job there with the sub bass. And, and just overall, it has a very nice sound quality. Mids are very clean. There may be a hint of warmth there, but not very much, if any. It's very uh, neg negligible, uh, to say the least. Uh, it's clear. It's very clear uh, mids. The treble does have sparkle. It has some very good details in the treble, but it does not ever get to the high range. Uh, I wouldn't say that the treble is overemphasized. It is neutral as well. So balanced and neutral because the, some of the features sound balanced and it's going to depend on your source and what you're running uh sound stage on this is incredible uh, has a very nice width to it considering this is a closed back uh, it does an excellent job there's good imaging there as well so overall these are really good all-arounder uh kind of headphone very comfortable uh 
I'm going to say made well because I know that it's not, you know, the sturdiest of builds looking wise, but it has last going in bags and out of bags for years. And it still is perfectly good to me. And these run on Amazon from $44 to $50. There is also for around $100 and maybe $120, it depends now. Uh, there's a Bluetooth version of this without the, the fixed cable. It does have a cable you can put on it. But overall, uh, it should sound just like this. It has the same driver and everything. I haven't had a chance to try those. I was thinking of actually getting rid of those and getting the uh, Bluetooth version so I could have the best of both worlds there. Excellent headphone. So this has been the uh, Pioneer SE MS5T T. Um, a very well-balanced headphone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was informative and be safe.